Einen wunderschönen guten Abend zu unseren deutschsprachigen Freunden. Eine tolle Woche hier im Chateau de Coulomb. Äh, Hund auf der Straße, ähm, äh, tolle Besucher und es ist 18 Uhr und es ist trotzdem noch Licht draußen. Frühling. Mm. Bonsoir à tous. <lacht> a bienvenue à Jeudi to the Chateau de Coulomb in saint Baudel. And as you're speaking friends from all the world, um, what a week we had. So we had wonderful visitors. Uh, we had, I was on the way to uh, Tony and Jane and good Lord, there was a, a dog loose on the street and a sheep with two lambs. <laughs> and uh, it is uh, 6 p.m. here and look behind us, it is still daylight. Yes. Spring is coming, so that's fantastic. So it was uh, uh, really quite quite a week. Very unusual week. Yes. driving to get a couple of things. This is uh, it's very exciting. We are having guests over uh, tonight and um, full surprise and we're really, really excited to welcome them um, and see them again. So I'm going to get the rest for dinner and um, the chateau is pretty much ready for them to arrive. <laughs> There's always something to do. However, uh, that does not mean that the restoration is to be any further. Anyways, have a good day. Would you like to explain what you're serving right now? Not really. Yes. <laughs> I think you should. This is Boeuf Bourguignon, as they say, à l'ancienne. Oh, oui. Alcien, correct. Is, there, there is a, there's a difference. There's the, oh, mm -hmm. let's do it quick. Mm -hmm. And this is Boeuf Bourguignon à l'ancienne. Uh, this is cooked for about 10 hours. Oh my goodness. It looks amazing. It smells amazing. And there is no broth in this. Okay. Um, all that is in this <laughs> is uh, red wine. We oui, miss you. Okay. So it's, it's, it's Italian. It, it, but you know, it's there are plenty of, of uh, versions of this, mm -hmm. and um, I've always liked the, the the traditional country cuisine. And yes, so this is um, marinated for uh, 24 hours in red wine and then uh, cooked. I cooked it yesterday and today, it's, since it's winter, this is the best time to cook this. It was on the stove for another, I think, seven hours. Oh my goodness. So, what is this? It's something that does not want to get on my plate. I get it. I wouldn't want to be you. Know. Um, so, this is Boeuf Bourguignon à l'ancienne. And, oh, I do have this. So, look at this. How nice. Oh. Very nice. It's a fantastic. And we yeah. have more red wine. Yes. Bon appétit. <laughs> bon appétit. Merci beaucoup, bon appétit. Appétit. Merci. <laughs> So now let's see if that even tastes good. Okay, we have uh, we have Steve and Sarah here. Yes, hi. And they visited us this weekend. We've had a wonderful weekend. We have with Steve wonderful and Sarah, hosts. great hosts. And one of the things, one of the reasons they were coming here also was because uh -oh. our friend Florence has given her 
Look how pretty. Because they are. Sarah doesn't have enough sewing machines. I don't. They're all gone. <laughs> we have at least one, two rooms oh, left. It is from so Florence. Pretty. It is nice. I mean, it's. <gasps> Look how pretty she is. Yeah, you have the. <gasps> Look at her. The wood is so nice. Oh, okay. I don't know this one. Yes, yeah, so and now down and. Can you move the, the course on? Thank you. Oops. There. There we go. There we go. Oh, look at the little light on the That's back. Oh, Letty, yes. <gasps> Sounds Italian. She's so pretty. Look how shiny she is. Thank you. <laughs> sure. Isn't that gorgeous? Thank you, Florence, I love it. Yes. So gorgeous. What else is in the cabinet? Oh, yeah, that's a good question. Uh, How does the cabinet, cabinet open? open? Does, does the cabinet, cabinet open? It usually opens. I feel like there should be a key or a latch or something. Is oh, there a key? look at the back. The back. Oh, Florence yeah, is okay. extra organi organized. Yes, yeah, she, she has. She the key and she told me, see it now, remember, that she <laughs> taped it to the back. She did indeed. Oh, and there's, yeah, there's the hole for there's it. There's the keyhole for it. Okay. Okay, it, it came to me. <laughs> All right. Maybe that way. It doesn't seem right. There we go. Almost there. I can feel things happening. Ah. ah. Now it needs to lift up. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's not the best. Not no, the best surface it's for it. Yeah. Even floor. I'm careful. I don't want oh, to look scratch at that. it too yeah. much. Oh, uh, look at the flywheel in there. Yeah. Fantastic. So it is a treadle and it's got the treadle cord. All ready to be reattached. And that is wood. Oh my gosh. It looks like metal, but it is actually bend wood. Oh, yes. that's right here. It is. Yeah. That is. That yeah, is yes. Fantastic. Fantastic. Yeah. Look at the pedal motion. <gasps> oh, wow. And then ironically, I guess the electrics are actually for the light that's on the back. Yes. Okay. So this is definitely for the light. But I'm. No, I think they've added an electric engine to it. I it think looks like it. That's what's happened. Yeah. Oh, cool. So she's very, she's very transitional. She, <laughs> she started as a as a treadle machine and and worked her way up to being a, a fast electric lady. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Awesome. Well, thank you very much. Florence. Sure. Thank yeah. You guys very much yes. for sharing. Really appreciate it, guys. It's, and Florence, yeah, of course. Yeah. And it, it, she is really pretty. I didn't. We didn't look at her. Yeah. She is really pretty. Are you sure? Are, are you sure we're taking it home? Oh yes, yeah. absolutely, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. No, no, you had a chance. I, I, there is a difference between liking yeah. sewing machine and loving sewing machine. Right. I They're like this. All mine. Yeah. Sarah loves it, so that, that's where it needs to go. It's no question about that. We had a great visit with Steve and Sarah. <laughs> yes, fun. yes, it was a lot it of fun. It was very late. Yes, yes, and uh, in case you don't know, uh, they have a YouTube channel. It's called Manor Maker. So check that out, and there will be a link to it in our video description. It was fantastic. It was, and we also want to, and uh, they also would like to thank Florence for the lovely gift that uh, she gave them of the sewing machine. Yes. So there was, uh, it, really, it was so much fun. So thank you for being here uh, with us. Um, Stephen and Sarah, and it was, we, we laughed a lot, and it was really enjoyable. So um, check them out, please. Uh, we uh, <laughs> we got a wonderful gift from Sarah, um, and it, it's it's a great time because uh, it, it it has all to do with sewing and and cooking, which we're, you're doing a lot of as well. Yes. So Sarah made us aprons. Yes. Thank you, Sarah. We love them. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, last Sunday, I was invited, or we were invited, to um, uh, Sunday lunch uh, at Tony and Jane's. Um, Stuart couldn't, couldn't go. He had, had something else to do. So I was driving, and there was a car coming uh, towards me, speeding like there was no one's business. I mean, really, it was bad. And it's swerving. And I wondered why the car was swerving kind of in front of me. And then I saw there was... And your setter running next to the road, almost run over by this car, and it was mortifying. And of course, I, and immediately I had to think about Nessa being gone for nine days. So I just <laughs> hit the brakes, turned on the hazard lights, 
and just talk to her and open the, the door the back to the back seat and she got in the car and so I drove to Tony Jane brought in the wine and I had some more jam for for Jane and, and said by the way I just picked up a dog I'm going back to the chateau dropping off the dog with Stuart and then come back for Sunday dinner mm. which I did mm -hmm. and when I came back to the car um, this adorable little puppy <laughs> she's a, a three or four year old uh, English setter uh, was actually curled up in the driver's seat so <laughs> I had already migrated from the back to the front so I um, moved her over to the passenger seat drove back and we made her comfortable, we fed her, uh, sort of got her water, and mm -hmm. we had have, have her in, in our private private salon so that she could, you know, get some get some rest, get some me time. <laughs> right. <laughs> and and we, right. And we did uh, we did uh, right away, you know, because we had all the situation with Nessa, we knew exactly uh, where websites were for lost dogs, yep. right? So we immediately went on to see if somebody was already at post and was missing her, which we did not find anything. No, that night. But you know, she had only been missing. She hadn't been missing yet for twenty four hours. So uh, the the people who owned her may have been looking for her, but hadn't had time to you know post anything about a missing dog. Well, I mean, uh, Jane said to me, "Well, maybe this this looks like an." I, uh, English setter. Maybe it's not a lot that is um, a dog that they knew, um, or they knew one of her sons. So um, the, uh, the dog, and so uh, we tried Nala, and Nala didn't react to Nala. But it's also we are two non-native French speakers, <laughs> so she might not have heard the Nala she was used to. In any case, uh, slept on the bed with us. She was. Absolutely sweet, wonderful. And next day, uh, Claire came over, and this this whole little avalanche started. And by that day in the afternoon, the owner came, very cheery, um, incredibly happy that she was well taken care of and safe. And we could so relate to this because when yeah. Nessa was gone, it was just terrible. Um, so we were grateful that we could give her a home for twenty four hours. And that she was reunited with her owner, and it was really sweet. Kind of crap. <laughs> <laughs>
uh, they need to be charged occasionally. And you can see this is like a quick clip charge magnetized that automatically to a USB that will uh, sit and charge. And usually uh, if they're if they're actually down to zero, uh, usually they will go to 100% in like 10 or 15 minutes. So they charge really fast. While the dogs are eating, uh, we are going to do a test on the tracker just to see how well it's going to work uh, in a real situation. So uh, Patrick has taken the tracker for Luna and he is heading out somewhere and I'm just watching here. I have the app on my phone. It shows like a, a satellite view uh, of our area. I've got all of the uh, icons for all of the dogs and their tracking device. And it's got a circle that shows what is considered the safe zone, that if they travel outside of that safe zone, then we get a notification and then we can start to uh, follow their tracker to locate them. So right now I'm just waiting for Patrick to take off. He's with this is uh, right now, it's Luna's uh, tracker is the one that is highlighted. So we'll just wait and see till we get a notification. Okay, so I just got a notification that says that Luna's tracker is outside of the safe zone. So I'm going to follow where it shows that she is located and see if that's where Patrick is at. Looks like the haven't seen that before, but the blue dot would appear to be me. So that kind of helps to know. Ah, hello. <laughs> yes. So we knew it was going in the right direction. Yes. Yeah. It took me a little bit. It was showing first that uh, her signal was coming from inside the barn. I was in the barn first. Oh, I was in that building. I mean, at the extension of the barn. Yes. Yeah. So, so it was, yes. Okay. So it even shows it in the building. Yes. Okay. So it does work. Yep. Yay. <laughs> Peace of mind. <laughs> Good afternoon from Columbia. It um, has been about a week, no, five days, since we planted them. So they are due to get watered, but you don't want to overwater them either. What I didn't finish saying is that I needed more water because I don't have a proper interior indoor watering can. And the problem with the big one that I used in here is it is sometimes a bit, well, it would rather flood than be helpful. So that's then not helpful. And they all come in here, they look nice. So only one that looks like it's not going to do its job and grow. Okay, so I'm going to do this again in about two days. We are supposed to have nice temperatures coming up. And with that, uh, they should go outside during the day, uh, nice temperatures, and then take them inside at night when it gets colder, so they have a good chance.
The cranes that uh, we saw flying in the fall and we said goodbye to, they laughed at us. They said, why, why fly elsewhere? Because we can just stay They're here. still here. It, yeah. uh, they're around here on the field. Sometimes we see them in the back. Uh, they're in, in all the fields around here. Um, towards uh, Linier, Chateauroux, that there, there are the thousands of them. And uh, this week I was out in the, in, with the dogs in the morning in the front and there were, I don't know, 40, 50 cranes flying right across the, the courtyard. And they were so low that I could actually hear their wings flap. Mm -hmm. like this, it, it was, it's absolutely amazing. They're so majestic and they're almost six feet tall when they stand up. Yeah, I mean, they're just really remarkable. It, it is amazing. And we have thousands of starlings around us. Mm. So it's, uh, it, it's a bit of a bird paradise here. And it, it's lovely. Mm -hmm. So it was a good week. It was. So I think that's it for this week. Thanks for watching. Au revoir. Au revoir. See you next time. Bye. Bye. If you enjoyed this video, please use the like feature to let us know. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our Journey to the Chateau YouTube channel if you would like to see more. Once you've subscribed, you can tap the notification bell in order to ring it, which will allow you to receive all notifications from our channel. Thank you.